Betsy Palmer, if Bill Cullen were a boat, what kind of boat would he be? A leaky rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting me on. <laughs> yes, you're putting me on with Bill Cullen, Betsy Palmer, Larry Blyden, three contestants from our studio audience, and your host, Ron Huseman. Thank you, and welcome to your Putting Me On. Hello, Bill. Good Hi, to have Ron. you here. Betsy, it's nice Hi. to see you. Nice to see you, Ron. Larry, good to have you here. Thank you, Ron. Larry, in case you haven't gotten around to it yet, I'd like you to meet your partner. My name is Susan Worth, and I'm from Philadelphia. How are you, Susan? It's wonderful. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> and <laughs> Betsy, the gentleman <laughs> seated at your table yes. is... Betsy, I'm Frank Ball, and I'm a theology student from Orange, Texas. Theology? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And Bill, uh, have you noticed who's sitting next to you? Have I noticed? <laughs> I'm Lynn Lichtenauer from Joliet, Illinois. Well, I don't know, know from theology, but I'd like, to, I'd like to try a little of the hereafter. <laughs> well, good luck to all of you, yeah, and let's play You're right. Putting Me On. Let's Larry, kiss again. Yeah. will you explain to your partner, Susan, exactly what you'll be trying to do? Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to pretend to be some famous person, see, and I'll take on a whole... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I'm going to take on a whole new identity, which has got to be an improvement, and then by clues that I give you, you've got to figure out who I am. Got it? Got it. Bill, Bart Betsy, Bain, and Larry will be putting on one of these Bart identities. Bain. Shelley Winters, oh, yeah. Shasha Gabor, you're back, Debbie Reynolds, or Betsy Palmer. Oh. Okay, Bill, you start. Pick up your card, mm -hmm. and this time you will be... Betsy Palmer, you'll be putting on. Uh, Larry Blyden, you're going to put on. Hey. This is a two-category game, and the first category is cheating men. Betsy, as that female, cheating what would you do if the man you love cheated on you? <clears throat> if the man I owe, well, you got to know that lady if, to know this one, though. <laughs> Um, well, I would cry an awful lot if oh, he cheated on me, and then I'd get so mad I'd kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy has killed him. Larry, what would you do if the man cheated on you? Talk him to death. <laughs> Bill, mm. your man is Wonder cheating on you. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, another... <laughs> okay, the second category is fingerprints. Now, Betsy, we're going to ask you as that person to transform yourself into a fingerprint. If you actually were a fingerprint, where would you be found? <laughs> if I were a fingerprint of this lady's, I'd probably be found on the end of my nose, a thumb. A thumbprint on the end of your nose. Mm -hmm. Larry, where would you be found as a fingerprint? I would be tightly wrapped around my ankle where I was trying to pull my foot out of my mouth. <laughs> Bill Cullen, where is your fingerprint found? Right across the face of the largest diamond in captivity. <laughs> Frank, I Betsy has said she would cry a lot and then kill her man if he were cheating. And as a fingerprint, she would be found a thumbprint on the end of her nose. Is that Shelley Winters, Zsa Gabor, Debbie Reynolds, or Betsy Palmer? And how much of your 80 points will you wager? Not much, Ron. Let's, let's wager 20 on Shelley Winter. You're right. Oh. You just picked up 20 points. Okay, Susan, Larry Blyden would talk him to death if he were cheating on him and his fingerprint would be found on the ankle trying to pull the foot out of her mouth. Who is that for part of your 200 points? For 100 points, if Miss Palmer won't hate me, it's Miss Palmer. You just picked up 100 points. No, I wouldn't hate you. Best clues I ever heard, Lair. <laughs> okay, Lynn. 
Bill Cullen has said he would poison his goulash if, if her husband was found cheating on her and the fingerprint would be found on the largest diamond in the world. Which one of these ladies is it and how much of your 168 <laughs> points will you wager? I'll wager 84 points. 84? That's good. And I thought it were Larry Blyden and Bill Cullen were the same, but I don't think so. I think Bill no. is Zsa Zsa Gabor. You are right, Bill. You are right. This time, Bill, Betsy, and Larry will be putting on one of these identities. Richard Burton, Marlon Brando, Jonathan Winters, or Bobby Morse. Bill, pick up your card, please, and you will be... Betsy Palmer, this time you'll be playing... Larry Blyden, try this one on for size. Hey. This is a one-category game, and the category is electrical appliances. Larry, in your assumed identity, if you were an electrical appliance, which one would you be? Ah, <laughs> uh, an electrical appliance. I would be the electrical appliance <laughs> that stirred up the water in one of those tubs where you calm down. Yeah, That's right. we'll it. Bill Cohen, what kind of electrical appliance are you going to be? Well, I've thought a great deal about this, Ron. <laughs> But not lately. <laughs> I would be, I don't know exactly what you call it, but I would be definitely one of those keys that is used to send code messages. Oh. Mars code key. Ma huh? Mars code? That's it, Betsy. Thanks. <laughs> Betsy, what kind of an appliance are you going to be? <laughs> oh, Lord, a I'm big mouth. That's the kind of an appliance. Yeah. <laughs> Betsy, you have got fingerprints all <laughs> over your ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, isn't that dumb? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I could have at least been unintelligent and said Marconi or something like that. Yeah, but he's not yeah. up there. <laughs> What kind of an appliance? You know what I'd be, Mousy? I'd be a great big electrical blanket. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Susan. Larry has said that he would be a whirlpool bath. Which one of these gentlemen is a whirlpool bath? You have half of 300 points as far as you can go. What will you wager? I'll wager 50 points on Jonathan Winters. Right. Oh, yeah. You you just got 50 points. No, Lynn, Bill Cullen has that. told us, and I will only say what he said, he is a key to send code messages. Is that one of these people? And how much of your 252 will you bet? Be a sport, Lynn. Thanks to you, Betsy. I'll say 126 points. That's good. Okay. Take your time, Lynn. <laughs> I guess he might say something else. I mean, don't rush. <laughs> don't rush into this at all. Taking my time, I think it would be Bobby Moore. <laughs> that was terrific, Lynn. I don't see how you got that. I really don't. Frank, Betsy Palmer is a great big electric blanket. That's what I Would am. a great big electric blanket be Richard Burton, Marlon Brando, Jonathan Winters, or Bobby Moore? You have 100 points. Let's wager the whole 100. Why no, not? you got to oh, wager 50. Heck? 50, Ron. Right. On uh, Richard Burton. Yeah. Now into our bonus game. Now on the desk between you is a shoe containing a stack of cards, each with a different name on it. In turn, pick up the top card off the deck and as quickly as possible, describe yourself to your partner. Now you can use any technique, except we don't want you to use a name. Mm. Okay, you'll get 20 points for each correct answer. Bill Cullen, you're going to start. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You have 45 ready, seconds. Ready to go. Go. <laughs> I'm a big hairy ape on top of the Empire State Building. I'm King Kong. He's a baby. Uh, I always have my hand in my jacket. I don't. Napoleon. Know You're Napoleon. <laughs> a tasty thing. I'm uh, a couple of people who nobody came here before. Oh, Christopher Columbus. I'm. Uh, I'm <laughs> no, no one came anywhere before. I'm naked. Both of us. The ape man. No, I got. <laughs> I'm eating an apple when a serpent came in. Oh, Adam. And the other one. Jeez. Jesus. <laughs> That's so weird. Very good. I have a great.
great smile, and everybody knows me for my smile, and it's a beautiful painting. Oh, you're Mona Lisa. An inscrutable smile. I am, uh, I sell, I sell peas, and I'm taller than anybody. Uh, don't be giant. He's the one, he's the one. I have a very long nose, and I was made out of Pinocchio. Poetry. That's who it is. I'm a guy who has a long nose, too, but I, I'm a great poet and very romantic. A good swordsman. Uh, Scaramouche? Uh, no, better uh, him. He was, he's the there. baby. That's, uh, Cyrano's the kid. <laughs> now, hold it, we're going to... <laughs> Bill and Lynn, you'll get credit for seven right answers at right, 140 right. points, which will be added to your total at the end of the game. Julius Caesar. And we'll be right... <laughs> I just looked at the next card. <laughs> we'll be uh, right Pocahontas. back in a moment. Give us ten. this message. Sigmund Freud. Freud. Every once in a while, we play an all-celebrity version of You're Putting Me On. And to give you a small idea of what that's like, we have three new partners for Bill, Betsy, and Larry. Uh, young lady, would you please introduce yourself to Bill Cullen? Uh, yes, my name is Joan Rivers, and I'm a mother by day. Uh, and Betsy, we'd like you to meet your new partner. Yeah. Uh, I... Oh, I forgot what my name is. What's your name, Larry? Oh, <laughs> Soupy sounds on the Viking. <laughs> And Larry, your new partner is. Shall I say? I'm Peggy Kess, and I'm engaged to Larry Glass. <laughs> In this game, Joan, Soupy, and Peggy will be putting on some new identities. And it will be up to Bill, Betsy, and Larry to figure out who they are. Right. Now, our cast of possibilities includes Jane Fonda, Barbara Streisand, Julie Andrews, or Toadie Fields. Joan. Well, you pick up your card and pretend that you are... <coughs> Soupy, you pretend to be... <laughs> and Peggy, we'd like you to be... <laughs> this is a two-category game, and the first category is... Things that light up. Joan, as that character, if you were something that lights up, what would you be? Oh, a Christmas tree. Joan is a Christmas tree. <laughs> Soupy. Well, I'd like to have equal time. I'll be a Hanukkah bush. <laughs> <laughs> we go from Christmas to Hanukkah to Peggy Cass. What are you that lights up, Peggy? The biggest, brightest billboard on Times Square. <laughs> I'll buy that. The second category is furniture. Joan, in your new identity, if you were a piece of furniture, what would you be? A high chair. Joan is a high With chair. With a potty. <laughs> what? Soupy, what kind of furniture are you? Uh, what kind of furniture would I be? Uh, um... Uh, 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 a plastic cover. A plastic cover? <laughs> That's vicious. That's mean. <laughs> Who it is? Uh, okay, Peggy, what kind of furniture are you? I'd be a great big softy sofa, all stuffed <laughs> down so you'd stick in. I'm in trouble. Okay, Bill uh, Cullen. Uh -huh. Joan has described herself as a Christmas tree and a high chair. I won't add the rest of that. Can any of these people fill that bill? And if so, how many points are you going to wager that you know who she is? Well, I can, I can wager as much as 50. Right. And a large part of this is guess, because the Christmas tree gave me a hint. And a high chair, you'll have to explain to me, Joan, if I'm right. I'm, I mean, you see, I'm killing time. I'm still trying to pick from the... Barbara Streisand is <laughs> But my you guess. didn't tell me how many points. No, Wrong. I did one point. One point is... What did I, what did I, I two shoes. Oh, Julie Andrews. Andrews. Oh, you blew you one point. Yeah, one point. Okay. <laughs> Betsy Palmer. Hooray Soupy. for Morse. <laughs> Soupy is a Hanukkah bush and a plastic cover. Is that one of these ladies? Jane Fonda, Barbara Streisand, Julie Andrews, or Toadie Fields? And if so, how many points are you going to wait? Oh, I'm going to go 50 points. Okay, you're brave. I don't brave. care. I mean, I'm just going to commit myself. That's what we're going to do to you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you're Barbara Streisand. That's right. Okay. And you did good. 50 points to your side. 
Okay, Larry Blyden, Peggy Cass is the biggest, brightest Times Square billboard and a soft down sofa. <laughs> Which one of these ladies is a soft down sofa? Jane Fonda, Barbara Streisand, Julie Andrews, or Tony Fields? You have 100 points. How many well, I tell you, I'm torn now for you a minute. See a uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ought to see a doctor. Are you ready for that? Well, when you're torn, you usually do. <laughs> <laughs> How many uh, points? Why don't you go see your tailor? If you're... Well, I'm, a... <laughs> I'm going to go for 50 points is what I'm going to do. Uh, I just worked with her, and I have a feeling that she is a nice, soft, down sofa, and she certainly is the biggest billboard on Broadway, so I'm going to say it's also Barbara Streisand. Then you're going to get a rep in the mouth! Oh, 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 you just lost 50 points. Let's go on That's to the next right. game. I thought it was going to be Julie with the, 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 the thing, but the stuff, the so fine. Yeah. Let's go on to the next oh, game. It's a Joan Rivers, Bill Cullen oh, bonus oh, game. That's this. And that yes. means if you come up with a correct answer, Joan, you and Bill will get a chance I to play bonus characters oh, for extra even. points. All right. Okay? I'll certainly do it. In this game, we have a very select cast of characters, and they include Larry Blyden, oh Soupy Sales, <laughs> Bill Cullen, or Wally Cox. <laughs> Bill, will you pick up your card, and this time, we would like you to be. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Betsy Palmer, this time, we would like you to be. And Larry Blyden, we would like you to portray. This is a one-category game, and the category is comic strip or fairy tale characters. Betsy, think of yourself as that person and tell us. If you were a comic strip or a fairy tale character, who would you be? Oh. Um. Well, I would be. I. It's kind of a ca cartoon. Well, no, it's not a. Are you a comic? No. Either one. Well, it's fairy tale. There's one terrific thing about Betsy. She doesn't need anybody else for a conversation. She can do it all. And I will lay home to It's better than a lot of people I have to talk to. No, actually, I would say that you are a little boy and a little girl. And you are found on a can. What? On a what? Oh, I know what you mean. A little boy and a little girl that's found on a can. You're a little girl and a little boy oh, found on a can. Mm -hmm. All right, Larry Blyden. Oh. What fairy tale are you? I am, uh, <laughs> Prince Valiant. <laughs> Larry is Prince Valiant. Yes. Bill Cullen, a comic strip or a fairy tale character? I am Prince Even More Valiant. <laughs> okay, Sufi, Betsy says she is a little boy and a little girl found on a can. Is that little boy and little girl combined? Larry Blyden, Sufi Sales, Bill Cullen, or Wally Cox? You've got 150 points. How many of those will you give me? Of it, 50. 50. Really? You're not that sure? Oh, oh, how much can I bet? Well, you can bet 75. I'll bet 75. All I right. would think that that, little, that would be a soup can. It would be yes, soup can. Yes, love. <laughs> <laughs> you just picked up your uh, 75 uh, points. And we're on to Peggy Cass. <laughs> Peggy, Larry has said he is Prince Valiant. Which one of these people is Prince Valiant? You can only wager up to 25 points. Well, I'll bet 25 points. Okay. Known for his physical prowess, I hope it's Wally Cox. <laughs> it's not you, meathead, it's me! <laughs> Prince Valiant. Yo! Are you crazy? <laughs> the engagement is over! Well, you just lost 25 points. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bill Cullen. Yes. yes. I'm sorry. Bill has said that he is Prince even more valiant, Joan. Yes. Now you've got 50 points. No, we don't. We have 99 points. You have 50 points? You just bet one point before. One point. One point. Right. One oh, point. no. Now oh, no. <laughs> we have witnesses to that. Oh, we have yes. witnesses oh, yes. to that. One point I think before. he cheated before and he has 50. That's what oh, I think. No. What do you think? I will no. bet too. I will bet 49. <laughs> 49, which is half of 90. Okay, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, whatever. And, and, and obviously, 
seriously, when you say Prince even more valiant, can only there's be. only one person, Wally Cox. No, Bill Cullen. Hands down. Bill Cullen. Oh, Bill. Oh. I won't argue about those 49 points, but you got into the bonus game. Okay. Now, on the desk between you is that shoe containing a stack of cards, each with a different name on it. In turn, you pick off the top card, and you try and tell Bill, and Bill, you try and tell. Joan, who you are, without using a name. Okay. Who goes first? You get 20 points. Bill Cullen, you're going to start. Are you ready? You have 45 seconds? Go. Uh, I'm a little skinny girl who came over here and didn't do so good as a model. As a model. From England. From uh, Twiggy, Twiggy. She's the one, yes. yes. yes, yes. All right. Um, oh, these are two people that are very, very close. Every time you see them, they're saying good night, good night. Very sad thing. Romeo and Juliet. Oh. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, they're, on, they're on television. Damon and Pythias. <laughs> Huntley Brinkley, Huntley yes. Brinkley, Huntley Brinkley, Huntley Brinkley. Uh, I'm a little girl never lies and, and spoils football games. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't have, she's a little girl. She comes on fairy tales. She never tells a lie. She's on a commercial now for I Switzerland. I have no idea. No uh, idea. Take you. Okay, go to the next. And, um, oh, uh, this is a friend. Two, he could either be in a Dickens story, a little boy. With Tiny a, Tim. Yes, all right. Or he could be a singer. Uh, I'm, a, yes, I'm, a, I'm an army officer who lost a big battle at Little Big Horn. Oh, uh, Sidney Moon. No. <laughs> yes, he's the one. Yes. Same idea. Yeah. Uh, this is a guy that he runs around naked and he shoots people. <laughs> Sunny touch. <laughs> 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 you fall in love. Uh, you fall in love. Tarzan. No, you fall in love. Oh, Cupid, Cupid, Cupid. Cupid. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, 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 a, I'm... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bill and Joan, you'll get credit. You'll get credit for five right answers and a total of 100 points, which will be added to your total scores at the end of the show. And we'll be right back, folks, after this message. You don't watch but. Here we go. In this game, Joan, Soupy, and Peggy will be putting on some new identities. And our cast of possibilities includes Frank Sinatra, Robert Goulet, Jackie Gleason, or Dean Martin. Joan, you'll start. Pick up your card and you will be... Soupy Sales, this time you'll be pretending to be... And Peggy Cass, we want you to see how it feels to be... This is a two-category game, and the first category is <laughs> transplants. <laughs> Soupy, as that person, if you were a human transplant, what kind of a transplant would you be? Well, it wouldn't be a liver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd be a, 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 a kidney. <laughs> Soupy is a kidney transplant. <laughs> Peggy Cass, what kind of transplant are you? He'd never let you. Uh, let's see. Um, what kind of a transplant? Uh, I believe I'd be a... believe I'd be a larynx transplant. <laughs> larynx transplant. A larynx. Joan Rivers, what kind of transplant are you? Oh, I just can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I just think, uh, Can I guess I think now? We'll, yeah. We'll just pass this round. Oh, <laughs> I got it. Joan has passed. All right. The second category is. Yeah, but that's bells. not really true. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Soupy, if you can hear me, the second category is bells. As the person you're pretending to be, if you were a bell, what kind of bell would you be? A barbell. <laughs> Peggy, what kind of bell are you? A bell? Oh, dear me. Uh, Shape up. Remember, this is tough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, what kind of a bell? I can't. Oh, I guess I'd be uh, kind of a bell they ring at sporting events. A sporting event bell. Joan, this time I'd like an answer. What kind of bell? <laughs> this time I can give you an answer. Uh, I'd be a, a wedding bell that goes ding, 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 ding. ding. <laughs> 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 
Betsy. Soupy. Ding a ding ding. Ding a ding ding. <laughs> Soupy is a kidney transplant and yes. a barbell. Put that yes. all together and does it spell one of these people? And if it so, does. how much of your 170 yes. points? I've got to go with half of it. That's like 45. No. You <laughs> got 170. Is that 60? 80. Try 80. Somewhere around 80. Oh, good for numbers. But that bar belt, that's got to be Dino. Mark. Okay. Was that 85 points? Okay, you just picked it up. Okay, Larry. Ah. Uh, well, cheap. we're going to come back now. Okay. We're coming back now. We're going for four and a half points here. Peggy. Okay, she's a Lawrence. And a sporting event bell. You're going to go for how many points? Go for four and a half points here. Half of it. Four and a half. How can you stand it? Over the whole thing. It's hey, a big turnaround right here. Too much to bet. Uh, huh? Too much? Go on, go on. Uh, I'll show, what should I go for? No, I'm sure I got just... this one. Even though she gave me a bum clue there. <laughs> give me a bum clue because sporting event says the wrong thing to me. But larynx says, the way she said larynx, <laughs> says Bob Goulet to me. <laughs> I don't believe it. You actually are up to 14 points. That's fantastic. Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh, that's Bill Cullen, right. Joan passed the first time. I don't know what she had in mind. I do. And the second time, she was a wedding bell. You've got 306 points. How much of that will you wager? Well, I hate to be smug, but I'm only going to wager one point because we're so far ahead, they'll never catch us anyway. Oh. So I'm going 153. Okay. And I'm going to bet it on Mr. Sinatra. <laughs> You just picked up 153 points. Let's go on to the next game, and it's a Soupy Sales Betsy Palmer bonus game. Oh, it's a bit... Oh. And that means if you come up with a correct answer, Soupy, you and Betsy get a chance to play bonus characters for extra points. This time, Bill, Betsy, and Larry will be putting on one of these identities. Joan Crawford, Gina Lola Brigida, Joan Rivers, or Gypsy Rose Lee. Bill, mm. you'll start. This time, we'd like you to be... Oh. Betsy Palmer, this time you're going to put on... Oh. Larry Biden, we'd like you to see how it feels to be. <laughs> this is a one-category game, and the category is characters in a courtroom. Larry, as that female, if you were part of a courtroom scene, who would you be? I'd be up there on the um, witness stand, uh, barely me. testifying. <laughs> you can pick up another seven points. <laughs> Bill Cullen. Bill Cullen, what part of the courtroom scene are you? I would be the tempestuous district uh, attorney. A district attorney. <laughs> Okay, Bill. I Betsy Palmer. <laughs> or should I? Betsy Palmer, what part of the courtroom are you? I would be <laughs> with gavel in hand and big robe <laughs> and my ankle strap too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's, that's all the information you're going to get. And that's funny. Peggy yeah. Tapp. Yeah. Larry Biden is on the wit witness stand. we got to do this. Barely <laughs> testifying. Of your 14 <laughs> points, how much are you going to risk? No. Oh, it's coming out here, Peg. You can get this one. Yeah, we do. Oh, well. Gee, could it be Gina Lola Bridget? you got to bet. Oh, I bet, I bet uh, half of what we have isn't much, Ma. Seven. <laughs> Seven wonderful points. Three and a half points go to, uh, well, barely, it's got to be, Gypsy Rose Lee. Oh, okay. Three and a half points, huh? Okay. Joan Rivers. Bill says he's a tempestuous district attorney. -a. It's uh, Gina How many Bridget. Points? Oh, I bet half, of course. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Of course. And it's Gina Lola Brigida? Yes. Is it Bill? Yes, yes, it is. Okay. You just picked up half the points. Everybody cheated this round. Everybody okay, Soupy, this is your chance for your big bonus round. We're the only round. ones that didn't cheat on this now, round. Now, I like the... Betsy is a big robe 
gavel in hand, ankle strap shoes. <laughs> That's right. And yes. you have 255 points. I would like points. to bet my life and Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> but how many points? I don't care. For everything. That's everything right. you We're got. We're going whole hog. Yeah, okay. Are. Okay. I bet, how much can we bet? Well, half of that. Let's see. That's uh, 100. And uh, 25. Well, 125, 26. Seven and a half. Joan Crawford. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just got 127 and one half points, and you're into the bonus game. Okay. Oh, they are. You know, they are. They are. We've got you know how to play this now. The shoe's in front of you. You know all the rules. Don't use anybody's name. No, we Betsy, wouldn't do you're that. going to start. Are you all ready? Right. You have 45 ready. seconds. Go. Um, let's see. Oh, I have no arms. Oh, Venus to Milo. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I was on the uh, bounty with the, and I was the big... Captain Bly. You're right. Yes. Oh, I cut off all your hair. Oh, you're Delilah. Yeah. <laughs> You uh, look like oh, Tom oh, Jones. I, uh, uh, I sang, uh, as George M. Cohen sang my song, uh, the name of the song. Uh, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Go on to the next one. Go on to the next one. All right, let's see. Oh, I rode without any clothes on. Oh, you're... Uh, <laughs> naked, naked, uh, long hair. Uh, oh, a lady good That's right. Oh, a, a whale swallowed me. Jonah. Yeah. Uh, I, I was created by a doctor, and I walk with a bolt through my oh. neck. A <laughs> 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 oh, thank you. Oh, yes. They, I, I drink a lot and I hate kids. Oh, W.C. Fields. Yes. And oh. Okay. <laughs> Soupy and Betsy, you get credit for seven right answers. A Thank total of 140 you. points, which will be added to your score at the end of the game. Folks, you know we'll be right ben? back in a moment after this oh, message. Sure. That's about all we have to put on today, so let's check the final score. In third place, with a great big total of 18 points, we have Larry and Peggy, and that's worth $100. <laughs> In second place, with a total of 523 points, Betsy and Soupy, that's worth $250. <laughs> And the top score with a total of 789 points. Bill and Joan win the big prize, $500. Thank you, Bill and Joan. Thank you, Ryan. Betsy it was and Soupy. Bill, but I'm glad you won. Larry and Peggy. Listen, I can't thank you all enough. You've been really terrific here today. And until we meet again, this is Ron Huseman saying thanks for putting me on.